process of uh, uh, improvement of our cities, our communities and our society. It is with great pleasure that during this week we were involved in numerous activities that took us further in the path to create an atmosphere with a healthy development and a sustainable environment for generations to come. For the past four days we have been sharing multicultural experiences, brainstorming about the challenges we face today and the solutions we inexorably need to find. The time is up and the time is now. We are the next generation and we have the power to revolutionize what we see, the way we live and the way we interact with our cities, our educating cities. My name is Catarina Caria, I'm from Portugal, more specifically from the historical municipality of Vila Franca de Chira and today I'll speak on behalf of my team for participation and citizenship. So, um, we were uh, together with more than 70 people from all around the world, starting from Portugal, going to Spain, Sweden, uh, South America, Cape Verde, and many other countries, which was a wonderful experience for all of us. And we segmented our discussions in through, uh, into three main segments. So, participation and citizenship, then environmental and sustainability, and then social co cohesion and social inclusion. We will be speaking about after. So, firstly, we vehemently believe that it's crucial to build strong educational institutions to promote political citizenship. As we all know, knowledge is power. And so, if you ask a kid or a young person if he knows how to vote, if he knows how it works, if he knows who is running for the elections, you probably won't be able to answer because we don't have the tools yet and we don't have the knowledge to actually be aware of what's going on in the political world. So we need to change that, right? And so our idea is to enable young people to have the know-how, to have information about um, the voting system and even <coughs> they are under 18 we need to start doing that in early ages also our goal is to have so a school subject that would address political issues and raise awareness for problems such as demagogy the personalization of politics that is so uh, so known nowadays and also to improve the access to information and in all types of platforms this is also very important because a well-informed society is a society that is uh, doesn't conform with the rules, doesn't conform with the ideas that are mainstream, and also a society that speaks up and advocates for the ideals. Secondly, we propose an increase in transparency and accountability in the decision-making process. So we believe that it's important to create dynamics in municipalities in order to mobilize people who are interested in debating political issues and uh, social issues. So imagine, instead of having a strict or hierarchical power, we have uh, a logic bottom-up. So uh, local politicians be more interested in knowing what citizens think of certain uh, measures and certain issues. Uh, the city is the people and so the people make the change. We are able to shape the way we see, the way we live in the city. Um, and so this, this project would um, provoke a chain reaction towards the mobilization of people as a whole and not as individuals. Power figures would be actually acting up according to people's needs and that's something that we believe that is extremely important in today's society. So we propose to have semestral or annual forums, debates or conferences such as this one that is so pioneer and it's so innovative but let's have it in the local scale so that everyone, even people from minorities, people from different ages, from different nationalities can actually have a role in society and be part of the decision-making process. And so you can have the, the example of the participative budget. Let's promote initiatives like these ones that really revolutionize the world the, the world we live in and the cities that uh, are our belongings and finally it is 
fundamental to stimulate critical thinking through the promotion of equal opportunities for everyone. And how can we obtain that? I know this is a very good topic idea, but I think we think that uh, cities should have a budget, a generous budget, in order to provide scholarships to everyone, even those who are in, uh, uh, who have financial trouble. So this would be uh, an amazing opportunity so that everyone can have access to knowledge, everyone can develop their critical thinking and the chance to be informed and claim for their rights. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you.